Hello everyone, this is King Konyaochi. Last video, I have tell you how to use this touch wall switch work with our H32BS controller. And this video, I will show you how to use this old wall switch, uh, just like this. Uh, this is the lock type, and this is a momentary and the self-reset switch. So I will tell you how to use this. Let's begin. Now, if we use this old switch like this version, we need to add the logic controller. This is CLB mini version. Uh, yeah, so we have the CLB version. That is large and this is small one. It saves the space because it has eight channel digital input and eight channel uh, analog input. So this is enough for you to use. And the first, uh, we can see the pin define and the diagram on the PC software and the PC screen. You can see this is the logic controller, CLB mini. And uh, uh, this is a uh, pin define. Uh, we can zoom out. Uh, you can see uh, this is a digital one input and digital eight input. This is used for a digital sensor uh, because we have used this wall switch work as a sensor to control the relay output. So we can connect with this switch uh, with this digital one, two, three because we have three buttons. You can see. Uh, this is the back of the wall switch. Uh, this is the green is channel one. This is channel one. Uh, this is a switch, but uh, three pins. This is calm, and this is normal open, and this is normal close. The calm must need to connect with the port, and this um, normal open or normal close you can use each one, no program. And this is a button two. You can see this two line. Have connect with this, this two line. This is the white and the black, and the black is for button two, and these two color. Uh, this is, is button three. These two color, and is this one. So every button have two lines. Is dry contact, just connect with the input, uh, digital input, and this is ground 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 you can also use one line uh, i have connected with the three lines independently you can also use one line because all this eight point is connected together inside with the ground and this is digital input okay this is how to wind by this old switch but most time i suggest you use this touch switch because this self-reset switch you can use many wall switch at the same time if you have two, three, four, five picks of the switch just connected together. So every relay output, you can use many buttons to country. But uh, use this way, uh, this type of switch, you can only use one for the input one, for the button one. If you have another one, uh, maybe have some not very easy, just uh, use this one is uh, easy for you. So I suggest you use this one. Because sometimes you can't uh, buy the beautiful switch for the this older version, uh, maybe have the different size or maybe have the different stand, uh, you can find in your country easily, but it's this older version. So you can use the CLB logic controller for this to use. Uh, these two button types can work in one system at the same time. Uh, I will tell you, uh, this is for channel 1 to channel 4, and this I will configure it for channel 5, 6, 7. So these two types can work at the same time in this country system. Okay, now we have complete the one uh, for the controller and the wall switch. Now we can look at the software. You can download the software of CLB in this document on this service and this uh, link. And uh, you will find uh, this is the CLB logic controller, uh, the PC software. I have already downloaded uh, in this folder. Uh, you can see I have used the network cable for the CLB, but this time I have removed this network cable because I want to tell you uh, this system uh, for the switch and for the CLB, it can work without internet. Uh, this, this cable just work in local network. And this, if no network cable and no Wi-Fi, also can work in locally. And this is work in offline mode. So after it starts up, we can also use this King Kong Scan device toy. 
uh, use this tile. Uh, last video I have told you how to use. We can double click and choose your and choose your network device of your computer. And this is a PC IP address, and you can click a start report, start monitor, and we can click the scan. Uh, you will find your CLB. And this H32B is in another way. Uh, we just can scan all the devices in the local network, in the C network. So this is our CLB. We can copy this IP address, copy and uh, paste. And we can use the default username admin, the password admin to log in. Uh, you can see I can log uh, this website. This is the first time you log in, and maybe you need to change your uh, login password. And uh, you can choose this work mode, uh, is TCP server. And this is IP app mode, is DHCP, is, is good. And you can see this is your IP and this is part, because this information will be used in your PC software. I can change the password uh, to 123456 for the default and uh, save and restart. When I change the password, now I can use uh, this password to log in. And now I have used the Ethernet, so I don't need to configure the Wi Fi. If you need, you can configure the Wi Fi, SSID, and the password for your log. And you can see this is IP and this is the port. And we have download uh, the PC software and just double click this exe file. And uh, this is IP and the port, just input uh, this IP, uh, is this IP, and this part is in this part. If you use Wi Fi, uh, you will see your Wi Fi IP and your Wi Fi port. So now I have used the Ethernet. I can click config connect, and uh, you will see uh, this is connect successfully. And now we just can click this auto report off. Just click it, enable auto report, and uh, you can see when I press the button like this. Press the button, uh, this button 3, you can see it turn green, and this is button 2, and this is button 1. So now the CLB can detect uh, the 3 button, uh, like this I can press. Now I will tell you the button 1, we can let it turn on and turn off the relay 5, because the relay 4 and the relay 3, 2, 1 is controlled by this touch panel. Uh, this is for this is for three relay we have already paired with this touch panel. And now I will tell you how to let this switch one, button one, control relay five. Okay, now we can look at the software. We just go to the FTDD command. This function is very powerful. And we can lead the current FTD command. We have create the totally 50 FTD command. Now we can create the number one. Um, now it's empty because the CLB is new, so we can click edit. And uh, because the button one is connected with the input digital one, uh, so you can see where I can click this one. And this is triangle tap, engine P. What this means, uh, this is engine P and engine N. That it means input digital input is become up and uh, hold on uh, this is hold on turn this means uh, I can set to zero point one yes this is for this one this one this range so if I set for this the engine P just the input uh, when I press the button the input level become high and hold on zero point one second will just add a command, a trigger command. 
So we can click this uh, 0 0.1 second and add to if. This is a condition. And when I press this button, what I want to let it become? We can press edit then. Uh, you can see this is relay. Now I can choose relay 5. What is the action? At relay 5, we can choose open and add to then. So that means when the input digital input 1 is become high and hold down the 0 0.1 seconds will let the relay 5 open and we can apply. Uh, this is set to the CRB controller. And now you can see when I press the button, you can see the relay 5 is on. So now I can but I can't close, uh, I can't turn off the relay. So we can add the command again. Now we can create a command tool and edit. And also is input one, a digital input one. Uh, this is for engine n, engine n 0.1 seconds. What is the engine n means? That means the key uh, is down, the level is down, become down, and the hold on uh, this second. This is 0 0.1 second. Uh, at least hold on this second will trigger the command. So when the input one, digital input one, is become this signal uh, will be, we can add to the if condition. Okay, we can add. And now we can press this then and let the relay file and close. Add to then and apply. Okay, now I can press this button again. You can see uh, when I press, this is become on, and I press, uh, this is become off. So press detect the engine P is on the fifth relay. And press this again, then detect the engine N, uh, then let the relay fire off. So you can see I can use this order switch. Also you can use this same way, you can define the button 2 and the button 3 uh, for the engine P and the engine N, uh, this button engine P and the engine N. So you can see, now I can press the one, two, three, four, five. So this, this is how to use the older switch and the touch switch in the Win system. Okay, this is how to use the touch switch and the older switch work in Win system. Thanks for watching.